mission of the USO is to lift the spirits of America's troops and their families. We were founded in 1941 when a group of six private organizations came together and became the United Service Organizations. Well, I like to say that our role in our airport centers is that we're like the Admiral's Club for the military. We're that place that they can go and be treated like kings and queens. Um, we, we offer our services at no charge and it's a consistent uh, level of excellence. Having the USO in the airports is it's just it's amazing because you're traveling, you're dealing with trying to figure out where you gotta go and if you ask a question somebody might actually give you a rude answer but having the USO in the airport you walk right in and say hey I got a question where is this at and then you get the smiling face you get the greeting before you go you want anything to drink or eat snack on I was in the Navy for 14 years and foreign ports I learned to look for the USOs and I did find them, and I visited every USO I could possibly find. It was great. At that time, there was no such thing as fo cell phones. Being without calling your my mother uh, for four months straight, and then being able to finally call home, that was the biggest excitement to be able to call home and say, hi, mom, and to surprise her. And I would not have been able to do that if it was not for the USO. We not only uh, roll out the red carpet, put up the welcome home signs with balloons and banners, but we also ensure that their families uh, through our program Operation Front of the Line can get to the gate to see their service member, their loved one, right when they get off the plane, which is uh, not always an easy task. It's a pretty amazing sight to see um, a service member who's just gotten off a plane and still has literally sand, dust on their boots from being uh, in, th in theater, as it's called. But we also try to provide programs that impact the families directly. We have a great program uh, with United Through Reading. This is a military program that, for the USO, enables us to videotape uh, a service member reading a children's book. We then finish the DVD on site and give the service member the book to either take with them with the DVD or we ship it anywhere around the world they'd like. For us, it's a true joy to be able to offer support in a very unique way. As a nonprofit organization that is solely funded by the generosity of the American people, partnerships with other organizations are vital to our, our mission. Shows like The Down and Dirty with Frank Fontana are an example of a, of a great opportunity that allows us to improve our centers and then delegate our, our, our funds and our, our resources to other areas that can directly impact the, the armed forces and their families. I see looking forward a, a military that is going to be continued to be tasked um, and asked to do um, what seems like for me when I look at the news the impossible. Viewers can get involved by visiting our website at uso.org. There they can find a local USO that they might be able to volunteer at. A USO, Rosemary speaking. No matter how you feel about any, any war at any time, the USO is about the person behind the uniform. It's not about politics or, or, or anything like that. We really focus on that person who's wearing the uniform and our mantra when we're working and, and we're, we're, we're doing all that we can is that we, you know, we just serve those who serve. Awesome, folks, awesome. Very good. And now that we know more about the USO, it's time for our troops to lace up our boots and start our mission. Check it out. Hey, Allison. Hey, Frank. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Thanks for taking the time to meet with me. Oh, thanks for being here. So this is the USO, huh? This is USO Midway. This is pretty cool. We like it. We like to call it a home away from home for our military and their families as they're traveling through the airport. So really, what is the, the function for a USO facility just like this? Uh, this is a, a, a meeting place. It's a connection place. And, and it definitely feels cozy. You got these giant overstuffed sofas, lots of great seating, kitchenette, computer area. And then I noticed one overwhelming thing here is lots of clutter with stuff. Well, yeah, we like our stuff, unfortunately, too much sometimes. But some of this stuff is a mark of those that have come through right. and left their emblem if they're a particular military unit. So we don't want to get rid of all of it because sure. I think that makes it us. Yeah. But maybe a way to organize it. It's definitely not short of inspiration in the space. I mean, I love the, the plaques and all the statues of the soldiers up there. And, you know, this is, this is great. The energy in here is really nice. Um, let's try to figure out a way how we can kind of condense some of this clutter maybe hide some of it and address some of the real core needs for you here. 
That sounds great. With that said, let's talk about it. How can we help you? Well, uh, we are in need of, for example, some places to put our books and our computers. Uh, the, the spatial aspects of what we have are kind of jammed together. So a smarter way to compartmentalize well, let's, what let's we've got. Let's take a closer look. Sure. All right, so Allison, this is the computer station. I love the fact that you're providing technology for these soldiers. This is awesome. They can check email, do whatever they do on here. That's pretty cool. How is this actual desk working for you, though? Well, that's the problem. It doesn't work really great. Yeah. Um, it's a real cumbersome piece of furniture. Also, our printer is behind the, the computer screens, right. which doesn't function really yeah. well. I didn't even know until you pointed it out, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hidden back there. If anyone wants to get a book over here in this corner, it's very jammed together. This is our lending library. I definitely hear you with the books. I mean, it just doesn't seem like they're in a great place and especially if somebody's using a computer here you're going to literally climb over them. So I, I think we could just remove that area as a book area and kind of push it over onto the side of the room. Great. All right, and, and utilize all this space for computer desk. That sounds terrific. Cool. All right, so let's talk about this side. All of right. Room. All right, Allison, so uh, this wall over here obviously has got a lot of stuff, exposed goods for drinks, and then you have toiletries, a gaming station, an information rack with brochures. So I think we need to address this. Okay. All right, so I, I can totally visualize a built-in, nice, clean unit that goes up the wall, encompasses the magazine rack, informational brochure rack, okay. um, as one tied in unit. That sounds great. Right, and, and just enough space to put all the stuff in, and you just don't see it. That sounds terrific. All right, cool. And in terms of color, I, I, you know, I know you guys are set and you're not looking for much. What do you think about this? I love that deep red that's on that, that wall when you first mm -hmm. walk in. It kind of just makes such a statement. Mm -hmm. What if we pulled a little bit of that color into this little nook over here, make this a little bit more cozy, because you said they do sleep here. Um, okay. What happens back here? Well, a little out of sight, out of mind. Um, this is where we have our pillows and our blankets for someone that wants to take a nap. And yeah. then on top, more storage and, again, more stuff on top of stuff. <sighs> it just seems like the continuing theme here. More storage. Well, I guess what we'll do then is make you more storage. Okay. Something that functions a lot better than this, a lot bigger than this, so everything is clean, hidden, and put away. That sounds great. All right, cool. Well, I think we got our marching orders here. What do you okay. say? Let's go. Can I be officially dismissed to start the projects? You may proceed. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs>